guys and welcome to deception in today's video we are going to discuss the question paper pattern of the ICSC computer applications exam that you are going to face in the ICSC 2020 boards we will also discuss how you can prepare for the computer applications exam watch this video till the end and if you like it do hit the thumbs up button share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel if you haven't also hit the bell icon to get notified of all our videos without further ado let's begin let's begin with the question paper pattern icsc computer applications now this paper is a 100 marks question paper you will get two hours to solve the whole thing in addition to that you will also get 15 minutes to read the question paper now the question paper is divided in two sections Section A 40 marks theoretical type and section B 60 marks programs. Let's begin with section A. Section A 40 marks. Now this section is a compulsory section. That means you will have to attempt all the questions over here. You will get question 1, question 2 and question 3. Question 1 and question 2 will be of 10 marks each and question 3 will be of 20 marks. As mentioned, all the questions in section A will be theoretical type questions and short questions. What type of questions will you face? You will get short question answers. That means questions like state the data type, what are literals and all these. Then you will have definitions. Now direct definitions will be asked like define encapsulation, define inheritance, define an object, define a class. So these questions are asked. Then you will have difference between now three to four difference between will definitely be there in your question paper. Now difference between like straight the difference between call by reference and call by value, straight the difference between boxing and unboxing, straight the difference between while loop and do while loop, straight the difference between is uppercase and to uppercase. So these type of difference between will be asked. Then you have Java expressions in Java expressions. You have two things. First of all, a mathematical formula will be given and for that mathematical formula, you will have to write the Java expression. Then secondly, you will have a prefix and postfix calculation. That means you must have seen, you have to calculate things like y is equal to y plus minus minus y minus plus plus y plus y minus minus. So that's prefix and postfix. One question of that will definitely be there. Then you will have output of the program. Now small programs or small segment of programs and statements will be given and you will have to give the outputs of those small programs or these statements. Now these are relatively easy. They are not very difficult. Then comes convert the program. Now basically over here you have to convert the program say from while loop to do while loop, from for loop to while loop, from if else to switch case. So you have to do these conversions. Okay. So these are the type of questions that you are going to face in the section A of the computer applications question paper. Now let's move on to section B. That means the programming section. Now section B is of 60 marks. You will have to attempt any four questions over here. You will get a total of six programs. Each program will be of 15 marks. Out of the six programs, you will have to attempt any four. So 4 into 15 that will give you 60 marks. Now what are the type of programs that you will get? You will get the method program that means the long method program that you have where you have to define the member variables and member classes and all that the big program which is the first question in section B. Then you have switch case. I hope you know what switch case is. There will be two to three small programs of like say pattern and series and you will have to write a menu driven program for that. Then you will have array. Now in array, two dimensional array has been introduced this year. So most probably you will get two questions from array. One will be from one dimension and one will be from two dimension. So array, the third bracket one. Then you have overloading. You will get a question from function overloading. I hope you guys know what function overloading is. Then you will have string programs, the programs relating to sentences, words and all that. I hope you are practicing string programs. Then finally you will have logical programs. Now logical programs are programs like say Armstrong number, neon number, magic number, Krishna Murthy number and all that. So you also get logical programs where you will have to use your logic. 
Now you will have to attempt any four questions. That means four programs. Let me tell you a few tips. First of all, the programs are to be written in BlueJ environment. You cannot write the programs in any other programming language. Only BlueJ or Java. Then your programs must be simple and logical. You don't have to complicate your programs. Write the simple way to do the program. After that, variable description is a must for each and every program and it carries marks. So for each and every program that you write, do write the variable description table because it carries marks. Okay, so that's very important. And other than that, dry running. Now dry running is not compulsory, but it makes a good impression. So dry run your programs in your answer script. What does dry running mean? It simply means to show how the output and the input of your program will look like. Okay, so try to dry run the programs that you write. Now a lot of students also ask me, sir, can I over attempt? Yes, you can over attempt in section B. If you feel that one of the programs that you have written is slightly incorrect, then you can attempt another program. Okay, so there is no problem in over attempting. Now guys that we are done with the question paper pattern and what type of questions are asked. Let's move on to how you can prepare for the computer applications exam. How to prepare for the computer applications exam. Let's go section by section for this. First section A. That means the theoretical section. Now the first thing with theoretical section is you need to go through the theoretical part and you need to learn all the definitions that you have in your syllabus. So go through all the theoretical part properly and learn all the definitions that you have in your syllabus because from these questions will be asked in short question answers, definitions and difference between. After that, you need to know the working of all the functions that you have in your syllabus and by functions, I mean mathematical functions, for example, mat.rand, mat.seal, mat.floor, etc. And string functions, to uppercase, is uppercase, carat, etc. So learn the working of all the functions that you have in your syllabus. From these, questions will be asked in difference between and output of the program. Now in difference between, questions can be asked like, straight the difference between is uppercase and to uppercase. So if you know the working of the functions, you can easily write that. After that, you need to know how to write Java expressions and you need to know how to calculate prefix and postfix expressions. After that, you need to know how looping works. That means do while loop, for loop and while loop. Now questions from these loopings will be asked in output of the program, convert the program and also difference between. It can simply be asked straight the difference between while loop and do while loop. So if you know the working of all the loops, you can easily do that. So try to understand all the loops properly. After that, array is also very important for section A theoretical part. One to two output of the programs will be asked from array. So understand the working of array properly. Now to sum it up, the best way to prepare for section A is by going through and studying the previous year's computer applications question paper. Go through and study at least the last 10 years question paper of computer applications and you will see that you have prepared the section A properly and you won't face any problems in writing the section A during your examination. So go through and prepare at least the last 10 years computer applications question paper. Moving on to section B. That means the programming section. Now I can say only one thing with programming. Practice, practice and more practice. The more you practice programming, the more the logic will get into your head. And if you get the logic of writing the programs, you won't face any problems while you write the programs in your examination. So practice as much programs as possible because there are a lot of programs and anything can be asked. So practice, practice and more practice. You have a lot of program types. Practice all the program types that you have in your syllabus and practice them a lot. Now a lot of students, they do syntax error. They miss a semicolon. They miss something. So for that, practicing is very important once more. 
and after that when you practice do write the variable description table you should know how to construct a proper variable description table i hope your teacher has taught you you simply need to write variable type variable name and variable description and this holds marks so definitely construct the variable description table when you write your board examination okay other than that i won't say anything else for the programming because practicing is very important now in programming you can go through the previous years question paper and solve all the programs the more programs you solve the better you will be at it now if you want to take computer applications in higher studies try to solve a lot of programs in class 10 because if you get a good understanding over here you won't face any problems in higher classes okay so from now till your examination practice as many programs as possible okay now i have said practicing a lot of times <laughs> okay so guys uh, before ending i'll also suggest a book for your preparation the book is arihant icsc computer applications chapter wise year wise solved the link to that book will be in the description box below do check it out you will find the book helpful for your preparation in addition to this we have already solved the icsc 2019 icsc 2018 and icsc 2017 computer applications question paper the link to those videos will be in the description box below do check them out and they will be helpful now that we are done with everything i end this video over here new videos on deception are coming very soon so stay tuned until then this is rishi on behalf of deception signing off